Hello there, I'm Tony Lupton, the State Member for Paran and Cabinet Secretary in the Brumby Government. I want to talk today about two pieces of legislation that have been introduced into the Legislative Assembly. One of these is the Electoral Participation Bill. This bill will make changes to the way in which eligible Victorians are entered onto the electoral roll and will improve the participation of people in Victorian elections. It will mean that all Victorians aged 18 who are registered with the Victorian Curriculum and Assessment Authority are automatically enrolled by the Victorian Electoral Commission and will make it easier for people to update their electoral enrolment details and vote on election day. At the last state election, around 66,000 people in Victoria were unable to cast a valid vote even though they were eligible to be on the electoral roll. We want to increase participation by Victorians in our democracy and this bill is an important part of that work. Another important piece of legislation is the Supported Residential Accommodation Private Proprietors Bill. This bill will ensure that managing operators of residential services meet appropriate minimum standards and will improve the appeal rights for residents of that accommodation. It's an important piece of legislation that will protect some of our most vulnerable Victorians. New legislation introduced into the Parliament can have its inspiration in a number of different sources. Sometimes legislation is inspired by reports from parliamentary committees. These are committees made up of members of all political parties and both houses of our Parliament and they report on a wide range of issues every year. Some of the ideas taken up in the Electoral Participation Bill recently introduced into Parliament came from the Electoral Matters Committee, made up of members of both houses of our Victorian Parliament. Other parts of that legislation were recommended by the Victorian Electoral Commissioner. These joint parliamentary committees often hold public hearings and call for submissions from interested members of the public businesses and community organisations. They're just another way that all members of the Victorian community can have their say in helping to build our democracy and continue to make it strong. I hope you can join me again next week for another week in Parliament.